is everyone that hangeth on a tree that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith hallelujah is through one man Jesus Christ One man, all these things, death and, 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 and sin came. Then by one man, Jesus Christ, righteousness came. Don't you spend your time trying to be what you already are. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't wear yourself down trying to be what you already are. But it's important to accept the word of God. For what it is. If God calls you righteous. Don't you dare turn around. And call yourself something else. Agree. With God. You want to get the blessings of God. Agree. With God. Hallelujah. The Bible says he declared us righteous. Because of one man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Where sin did abound. There is more grace for you and I. There's so much grace that is greater than all of my fears. Hallelujah. That grace upon grace. John saw him and he said and we beheld his glory. The glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Hallelujah. I look at your neighbor and say there's enough grace to cause you to make it in. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Grace. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. I don't want to spend no more of my time. Hallelujah. Allowing thoughts of condemnation and guilt to ride me when I know that the judge has pronounced me righteous. He's pronounced me righteous. I don't have to get righteous. I don't have to strive to be righteous. I have to believe that the word of God is truth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I believe what God said, as I agree with God, then we can go places. Isn't that right? And so he began to talk about it, I believe. And the apostles were preaching and, and then... Uh, um, let, me, let me share with you what Paul was preaching in 1 Corinthians 15. He, 1 Corinthians 15, Paul uh, began to look at verses 3 and 4. He said, For I delivered to you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures. And that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scripture. See, he preached Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. He kept the cross central in his message. Isn't that right? Hallelujah. So he made them see that through the foolishness of preaching, hallelujah, God would work wonders. And one man said, not foolish preaching, but the foolishness of preaching. Isn't that right? <laughs> Ah, uh, the Bible is so good. Now, Galatians chapter 3. Let me go on here. He says in Galatians 3, he says, I, I want to ask you something. This is Paul in, in my vernacular. I, I, I want to ask you something. How did you receive the Spirit? How did you receive the Spirit? Did you, did you receive it by doing good works, trying to do good works? Or did you receive it by hearing the gospel and believing? 
Then he goes on to say, I got another question. Let me ask you this. He that worked those miracles among you, how did it happen? How did it happen? Did, 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 you, did it come through the law or did you hear the word of faith and believe? How many want some miracles today? Hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I, now, now, when I was preaching the word of God this morning, her faith was lining up with the word. Now, she didn't have to do no pleading, no begging. She didn't have to go through none of those changes. But she simply believed. And while she was believing, the power of Jesus Christ brought the healing. Come on, let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. There's some sicknesses in your God's healing today. Now, I, 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 I want you to know that this invisible Jesus is in this place today. Hallelujah. If you can see him by faith today, your life is going to change. Oh, yeah, you can see me because you can see me with your natural eyes, right? But I'm talking seeing Jesus through the word of God so that you can get your miracle. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Ah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, verse 9 in, in, in Galatians chapter 3 says, So then they which be of faith are blessed, blessed with faithful Abraham. Don't you strive to be blessed? You are blessed. Now, I got one more thing to say before I leave Galatians. Look at what he said in verse 13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come on the Gentiles through Jesus Christ, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith, Hallelujah is through one man, Jesus Christ. God is here to work miracles among us. God is here to show forth his power and his healing grace. Because of Calvary and redemption. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Already blessed. I, I could imagine the apostles and every, they, they would preach and then they say, and then there was a man there that when he was listening to the word, all of a sudden, Paul perceived that he had faith to be healed. Faith entered while the word was going forth. Now, if you believe that uh, uh, what God is saying and what I'm teaching about the word of the gospel, faith will enter while the word is being preached and and God will give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Paul perceived that while he was preaching the man, faith went into the man's heart. And Paul perceived that he, 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 could, he had faith to be healed. Paul said, stand right up on your feet. And that lame man got right up because faith had entered. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. It's no magic to this thing. It is faith in the Son of God. Hallelujah. Faith in the gospel is the glad tiding, the good news of God concerning his holy son, Jesus Christ. It's all about Jesus the Christ. Somebody got to believe him today. Hallelujah for his miracles. Glory to God. There is now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Condemnation belonged to the old Adam, but not to the new. Glory to God. Justification and peace belong to you and I, right? 
So if you don't have peace today, you ought to receive peace now if you've believed in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. And then not only did he proclaim, Matthew says he pre taught in the synagogues and he preached the glad tidings of the kingdom of God and then he went about healing all who were oppressed of the devil. If he, if he couldn't, didn't heal them all, scholars and theologians could say, you see, he, he didn't, he didn't, he, he, it, it wasn't meant for all. But there are more than one place in the scriptures where it shows that he healed all of them. Every one of them. So, so, so nobody could say the good news and the gospel and healing is not for all. Isn't that right? It's for all who believe in him today. He healed every kind of sickness. He healed every kind of disease among the people. And the pains and torment, disease uh, uh, and uh, demon possession. And lunatics or moonstruck and palsy or those that were paralyzed. And, and paralysis accompanied by uh, volunteer tremors. In other words, he, he healed all of those conditions. And, and there are some conditions among us today. I, I want you to get this today. Because Jesus is right here today. He's here to work some miracles here. And I want you to check yourself. If you came in in pain, I want you to really check yourself uh, because uh, you may not have that same pain that you brought in here with. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just And since the Bible makes it clear, right, that he does not change, since he doesn't change, if he had and showed that kind of mercy 2,000 years ago, do you think he's willing to show mercy today? Yes. Hallelujah. I believe it. Yes. Glory to God. He said, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Yes. Hallelujah. I believe that he's willing to show mercy. As our God said to me, I want you to talk about Healing the sick. God showed me there were people suffering pain. And I kept asking him, oh, Lord, what kind of sickness and what kind of, what do you want to do? Just give me an idea. I know you ain't limited to it, but at least give me an idea what you, what you want to, uh, 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 what you want to do. He didn't say anything for a while, so I kept on uh, over the period of time. And then finally he said, pain. I want to take away the pain. <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah. I didn't tell my wife until after it was over until, and after, until after she received healing. She had pain in her leg and God took it right away. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. What are you saying, Brother Herring? I'm saying Jesus is in this place. His spirit is here. And you can be healed. Glory to God. If you are suffering any kind of pain today or this week, you've been in pain, I want you to begin to, be with me, believe God and let's agree with God. Don't agree with your symptom. Don't agree with what has happened in the past. Don't agree with what the doctor's saying, but agree with God, all right? Agree with God. Hallelujah. Agree with God. I want you to join hands with somebody. Now, see, saints, y'all, y'all got, you got to hear what I'm trying to say. The Lord ordained this. God wants to heal you. This is God's idea. This is, this is God's plan. This is His design to heal us. Um, hallelujah, and to work His wonderful healing power. And somebody will be healed today. I want you to. You, uh, you don't have to cross the aisle if you don't want to, but at least join hands with somebody now. Hallelujah. And let's believe God, if, if, if your pain has not gone, uh, I want you to understand now that if you are God's child, if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, reaffirm his ownership. You belong to God. You don't belong to the devil. You belong to God. And all the blessed benefits of Calvary are yours through him. Remember what we said, one man. Through one man. Just like through one man the curse came, 
Through one man the blessings come, right? Christ has redeemed us from the curse. So every curse now must be broken. Y'all with me? God want to break curses, generational curses. They must go. All of them must go by the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you right now. We come in alignment with your word. We come in alignment with your holy word. Show forth your power. Show forth your healing love. Show forth your dynamo, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Um, let your people receive healing um, and freedom from every curse, um, from every bondage of sin. In the name of Jesus, um, from every bondage of Satan, by the power of Jesus' name, O oh Lord God. Um, in the name of Jesus, we break the power of the enemy. We bind them back. We bind them from every confusion. We bind them from every intimidation. We bind them, Lord God, from every attempt to hinder your word this day. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we loose your power. We loose your presence. We loose your healing in this place. Now, Lord God, work your miracle power. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, we give you praise. Now I want you to lift your hand and begin to praise God and give him some glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give him praise like you believe him. Give him praise like you believe him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give him glory in this place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Ah, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ah, oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is in this place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, 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 Lord. Glory. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take away the pain now, Lord. In the name of Jesus. I will give your name to praise. Alabu Shandam. Dars. Is Dars here today? Dars here today? Dars, God want to take away that pain. He's Hallelujah. God will heal you. Tequila, raise your hand. God wants to heal you. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Join me in magnifying the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ah, we're giving you the praise. Oh, we're giving you the glory. Hallelujah. Ah, bless the Lord. Ah, Dave. You've received some help, healing from any pain. If you manifest, if it's manifested, I want you to just wave your hand. Don't be ashamed. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is in this place now. Uh, listen, the Holy Spirit is moving. Yes, there's a right there. Yes, I see your hand. I see another hand. Two people, third people, some people at four. People have received the healing today. Come on, let's give God praise in this place. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God told me that He was going to heal people of pain. I believe Him. 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 He's the same. Let's walk in faith. Let's walk in freedom. And we'll walk in peace. In the name of Father, I bless you right now. 
and I magnify you. I want you to be God for your people. And every eye shall be upon the Christ, the one that died for our sins, that our hope might be in you. We thank you. We thank you for moving in this assembly. And I'm going to announce this. If you, you may, before this service is over, get a healing. You may, before you get home, get a healing. But if you have pain, it's going. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Ah, uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. They want to come. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Go ahead and praise him. He's worthy. Ah, uh, he's the same yesterday and today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, the Savior is here. The one that you've been worshiping. The one that you've been calling on. Hallelujah. He's in our midst. His glorious presence. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Somebody's legs are being healed. God, I thank you right now. Ah, Glory to God. Glory. Glory. You let me know when something he speaks to you. We're in the presence of Jesus. And his miracle healing power. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Now somebody's gonna receive is, is receiving healing from your spine, your back and your spine. Just agree with God. Just agree with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory. Ah, yada moshanda. Glory to God. Glory to God. <laughs> Somebody, I don't know a lot about the uh, tendons and the muscles, but I heard the Lord say He's handling somebody a tendon, a, a pain in their tendons. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but God say he's healing it. Yes, Hallelujah. You can receive it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. I heard the Lord say he's healing stomach conditions. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody has bursitis in their shoulder. Yes, yes, God. God is healing bursitis. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is, uh, are we still on the air, Mac? Okay. So there's, there's, someone has cancer in the, of the stomach. And God's healing you right now. You're going to feel that warmth. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. Ooh, glory. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And, and somebody, um, the condition in your heel, spurs, bone spurs. And you have pain in your heels. At, and especially at night. You have bone spurs in your heels when you're walking. 
Hallelujah. God is healing that. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now somebody's got an intestinal disorder. And the Lord is healing you of this thing. Hallelujah. Just receive it. Agree with God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the healing. We thank you right now. You don't have to do anything but receive. God, I thank you. And I magnify your son. Oh, glory. Glory. There's somebody who's been suffering from gout. And the doctors can't help. But the Lord has heard your prayer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory. <laughs> oh God, hallelujah. hallelujah. Now if somebody has a crooked spine and the Lord is straightening it up now. You're gonna feel you're gonna feel the hand of God at work in your spine. Don't think it's strange. It's God at work straightening your spine. Give us a call. Give a word of testimony. God is speaking to you right now. It is healing your spine. And it's going to straighten it right up. Lord, I thank you. I give you praise. I thank you. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I don't know if somebody in the TV audience, you might be in this room. But I hear the Lord saying he's healing somebody of a crippling fear. This fear is so crippling that you don't want to, you won't venture to go out of your house. Oh my God. Lord, I thank you for moving upon this heart and setting the person free from fear in Jesus' name. We thank you for it, God. Hallelujah. You're the same yesterday, today, and forever. You change not. You're still the great physician. You're still the healer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Nothing is too hard for you nor anything impossible. You have not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for setting the captives free. In Jesus' name, amen.